Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, code AB of this uh, quarter circle, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this uh, blue square ODEF is fully confined in between them. And the area of this uh, blue square is uh, two centimeter square. And now our task is uh, to calculate uh, the length of this uh, code uh, AB. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, blue square uh, ODEF. And we know that the area of this uh, square is uh, 2 centimeter square. And now let's recall the area of a square formula, area equal to S square, where S represents the side length uh, of the square and we know that the area of this uh, blue square has been given to us uh, as uh, 2 equal uh, to s uh, square and now let's go ahead and uh, undo this square by taking a square root uh, on uh, both sides so therefore this uh, square and square root undo each other so therefore uh, our side length uh, s turns out to be square root of uh, 2 so therefore the side length of this uh, blue square turns out to be square root of uh, 2 across the board as you can see over here. And here's our next step. Uh, I have connected uh, this center O with this uh, point uh, E as you can see over here. And now we can see that this uh, OE is the radius uh, of this uh, semicircle. Let me go ahead and label uh, this uh, radius as uh, lowercase uh, R of this uh, semicircle and as a result we get this uh, right triangle uh, ODE and now we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle ODE to find the value of this uh, radius R and here's our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square let me go ahead and call our longest leg uh, side C I'm gonna call this side uh, A and this side uh, lowercase uh, B. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. A in our case is square root of 2. So this is going to become uh, square. Likewise uh, plus uh, square root of uh, 2 whole uh, square equal to C in our case is R. So that's going to become R square. Let's go ahead and simplify. That's going to give us uh, 2 plus 2 equal to R square. So R square turns out to be 4. Let's go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking a square root on both uh, sides. So therefore this square and square root is gone. So our radius R value turns out to be positive 2. So thus the radius uh, of this uh, quarter circle turns out to be 2 centimeter. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, A O is the radius uh, of this uh, semicircle so we know that our radius uh, is uh, 2 and here's our next step let's focus on uh, another right triangle uh, AOF and we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem uh, to find out this uh, length uh, AF and here's our Pythagorean formula once again A square plus B square equal to C square let me go ahead and call our longest uh, leg as upside uh, C. I'm going to call this side A and this side uh, lowercase uh, b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. A in our case is 2. So this is going to become 2 square plus b in our case is uh, square root of 2 whole uh, square equal to C square. Let's simplify. So that's going to give us 4 plus uh, 2 equal to c square so therefore c square turns out to be 6 let's go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking the square root uh, on both uh, sides so therefore our c value turns out to be square root of 6 and now we can see that this uh, side c represents uh, this uh, length uh, a f uh, and that is uh, square root of 6 so therefore uh, this side length uh, AF uh, turns out to be square root of 6 uh, centimeter. And now let's go ahead and think uh, outside the box. 
So therefore, I have connected uh, these points B and uh, C as you can see over here. And now let's recall the Thales uh, theorem. According to this theorem, if uh, A, B, C are the distinct uh, points on the circle where the line AC is the diameter, then the angle uh, ABC is a right uh, angle. In other words, uh, it is uh, 90 degrees. So therefore, our this angle uh, ABC turns out to be 90 degrees. And as a result, we got this uh, triangle uh, ABC as a right uh, triangle. And now let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. In other words, uh, the sum of these angles uh, alpha plus beta must be equal to 90 degrees. Let's assume that this uh, angle is uh, angle alpha. We know this is our 90 degree angle. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be our angle beta. And furthermore, uh, in this uh, right triangle uh, AOF, we know that this angle is alpha. This angle is 90 degrees. So therefore, uh, this angle uh, has got to be our angle uh, beta. Then we can see that our this uh, big uh, right triangle uh, ABC is uh, similar to this uh, another triangle uh, AOF uh, according to angle angle similarity theorem. And as a result, we got a proportion of uh, these uh, sides. Let me go ahead and look at uh, this uh, side uh, AC and the ratio of this uh, side uh, AB. And here you can see the ratio of side length AC and uh, AB is equal to the ratio on uh, this uh, triangle uh, AF and uh, AO. Let me write down uh, AF divided by AO. And we know that our radius uh, is uh, 2. So therefore, the diameter AC is going to be 2 plus 2 is going to become uh, 4. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in uh, this uh, equation. AC is uh, 4 divided by AB length uh, equal to AF uh, in our case is uh, square root of uh, 6 uh, divided by AO is uh, 2. Let's go ahead and cross uh, multiply. So therefore we are going to get uh, square root of 6 uh, times uh, AB equal to 4 times 2 is going to give us uh, 8. And now let's go ahead and divide both sides by square root of 6. This and this is gone. So our uh, AB length uh, turns out to be 8 uh, divided by square root of uh, 6. And now let's go ahead and rationalize this uh, denominator by multiplying and dividing uh, at the same time by square root of uh, 6. And here at the denominator, square root of 6 times square root of 6 uh, is going to become a 6. So therefore, our uh, a, b length uh, turns out to be 8 times uh, square root of 6 uh, divided by 6. And now let's go ahead and reduce uh, 8 uh, and 6. So therefore, our a, b length could be written as uh, 4 times uh, square root of uh, 6 uh, divided by 3 centimeter. And here's our uh, AB length and that is going to be approximately equal to 3.27 centimeter. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.